Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to disable a type of interim moderation on Intel for lower latency. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this for different different hardware. I do post videos every Saturday at 1 p.m. East, so make sure you stay tuned. Now, the first thing you want to do is join my Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. And once you're in my server and you're verified, you want to head over to the program channel right here and then click RWE everything. Once you do that, it should download it for you. Once it's downloaded, you could just open it and then drag it onto your desktop. Now that's on your desktop, you want to open it and run it as administrator. You want to click next, next, and install. You don't want to run it yet, it means you want to run this as administrator. So just run it as administrator once you have the shortcut. And in here, you should see a screen that looks like this. Now that you're in RWE everything, you want to click this top left box right here and then in the drop down box you want to make sure you're on XHCI USB controller and then your first bar should be the second box right here you want to double click on that now here's where a lot of people get confused if you have two bars like me where there's numbers in the first two bars other than just complete zeros then you want to click address right here and you want to type the numbers in your first bar without the zeros in the front. So in my case, it will be 4 and 2. And then I'll type the first bar right after. So that will be 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 4. And then I'll delete 4 digits off the back. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then type 2024 20, in the back. And then click OK. Once you do that, you'll be in like 16 bit right here and then your top box on the top left should be 00C8 now if you only have one bar so pretend my second bar didn't count it was just a bunch of zeros or whatever I'll type my first bar out in front of the zero and the X so that would be 0 2 0 0 0 0 0 and 4 and then I'll delete the back four digits and then I'll replace that with 2024 and then click OK. And then the top left box right here should be 00C8. If that doesn't work, then you could just skip the zeros in the front and try it regularly with just the numbers. So that will be 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 4. And then I'll delete the last four digits and then type 2024. And then click OK. And then the top box right here on the left should be 00C8. That's how you know you'll be in the right place. If you have any like problems with your address by the way and you can't get this 00C8 on the top left then just join my discord server linked in the description below and tell me in the chat I'll help you find your address but please try like before you even ask me because it's pretty simple just make sure you rewatch the video if you don't understand till you get it and yeah now that you're in your right address what you want to do is click the top left box right here that says 00C8 and then you want to click all the ones and then replace them with zeros and then click done. This basically just disables interrupt moderation on your USB controller, which is a way that they try to reduce CPU utilization. So disabling will give you better latency because they'll send the data away faster individually. If you want to save this, then all you would do is just close out on the top right. Make sure you don't close these little windows as it will reset what you just did. So. To save it just make sure you click the X on the top right now one thing I forgot to mention is that this does reset every time you restart your PC so there's a way you can automate it if you join my discord server link in the description below and then go over to resources I have a link to a script that automates it it was basically made by Omit, and what it does is it just automates this for you on startup so you don't have to go and redo it all the time once you have it downloaded and you have it on your desktop or whatever, to actually make sure it runs on startup is you want to click Windows key R and then type shell colon startup right here and then click enter. Once you're in here, you want to drag the XCHI mod interval into this folder right here. And to make sure it runs in PowerShell, what you want to do is right click it, click properties and then click change with the opens with option right here and you want to click more apps and then scroll down to look for another app on this PC 
Then you want to head over to System32. So we'll be in Windows, System32. And I look down, it should be like a Windows PowerShell folder right here. In V1, and then click PowerShell.exe, and then click Open, and then click Apply, and OK. And this will basically just automate the process for you so you don't have to do it on restart every single time. Now, another thing that you could do, which is a little bit experimental, so don't come at me if anything happens, because we haven't fully tested this yet, is you go to access right here, and then go to CPU MSR, and then in here, you want to click this second box right here. And then in this little, like, text box right here, you want to type these commands in one by one and then add them like that. And this is just basically just different, different power limits. We don't know if they actually like do anything or to make that much of a difference because it's something that we're testing right now on different, different computers. But it's something worth doing if you want to try it. I don't know if there's any consequences in it, so don't come at me like I said. But this is just something to try that should reduce your latency and might be able to like increase your FPS too. So it's something to try out. Once you like add the commands in though, you just want to click done right here. And then you just leave this as is and exit out of RWE everything. But don't like close this window right here. So that's what I have for you guys in today's video. I know today was an Intel only video, so next time I'll be doing something AMD related. If you guys have any suggestions, you can always ask me on my Discord server to make the videos. But yeah, see you in the next one.